I bought a massive bag of devices for 50 British pounds. Let's see what's inside it, let's see what works, and what can we fix? Boom, so look at this. It says 80 pounds on the ticket, but I offered them 50 and they accepted. There's so many different devices in here. Look, there's an old iPod Touch. Not sure if it's gonna work or not yet. It looks like it's in pretty good condition. So let's go ahead and set that down just over here. Right, we've also got another iPod. This one here is a newer one. I don't actually know that much about the iPods, but I imagine this one is probably a five, I don't know, but look at that. Really, really smart. Not in bad condition at all. A few little uh, dents and dings and stuff on it, but yeah, that, oh, this one's on. iPod is disabled. Try again in 24 million minutes. Not sure what that means, but it might be possible to fix that one on iTunes. Right, we've got another iPod. This one here is a pink one. The home button does not work. Let's see, oh, the power button works. Ooh, slide to unlock. Ah, you gotta enter a password. Okay, that's unfortunate. Well, hopefully again, we can reset that one on, um, on iTunes. Remember, by the way, these have all been donated to a charity shop, um, so I'm sure the people know that the iPods are there. We've also got another iPhone. Look at this one. This one right here is the iPhone 4, I believe. Let's see if this one has any juice in it. Oh, it does, okay. In fact, let's also just have a look at this um, iPod as well and see if this one turns on. No, that one. Oh, okay, connect to power. Let's plug this one in and see if we can give that one a little bit of power. We'll set this one to the side and see what it does. Okay, let's pull out some more phones. So we've got a few here that don't look like iPhones. We've got a Blackberry uh, that you can see here. This one's actually quite smart, I'm not sure. Not sure how new or old any of these are. We've got another phone in here with a little case. This one is a Samsung. Let's see if it says, oh, what the hell? There's a troll thing on the phone. That's horrible. Okay, we're gonna leave that one to do its thing. Right, so this is the Samsung that we've got here. Not sure, but this one actually looks pretty new. Is that iPhone on yet? No, it's turned off again. Maybe it just needs a good charge, but no idea what that troll face is. Presumably it's some sort of jailbroken feature. Okay, there we go. Let's, we can pull the back off of this and have a look inside it. Oh, it's on. It is on. It died. Okay, so we have got uh, a pretty decent looking mobile phone here. This is a SMJ320FN. Not sure if that's gonna be any help to anyone, but it looks like it's in really, really good condition. This looks like the perfect sort of phone to give to a grandparent or something. Let's see if it turns on. Hey, Galaxy J36. Okay, that one's quite cool, it seems to work. Right, we've got a Microsoft phone here. Let's see if this one's gonna do anything. Oh, it just vibrated. Ooh, it's turning on. Jeez, this is actually pretty cool. A lot of these phones are working. Let's see if this Blackberry has any life in it. That one just came up with a battery icon. This one, Blackberry, it is working. Okay, this one's working perfectly. Okay, well yeah, well these three work. They just look like they're at low on power, but they all work. Right, let's pull out some more phones. We've got another phone here. This one is a Sony Xperia, and it actually looks really nice. I believe my brother might have had this phone back in the day. Really smart. Um, again, it seems to work perfectly fine. I don't know what the issue is with this one. Other than the fact that it's outdated, nobody really is gonna have any interest in this because it's so old, but it seems like it works perfectly well. I think the Sony Xperia was sort of notorious for having a good camera and stuff. Um, but yeah, we go, we've got four working phones over there. Right, we've got Samsung Galaxy S2. Look at that phone, I had this, I had this phone. I really hope this one works because it'd be super nostalgic to have a look around this. We've got so many more phones in here. Quick update on the Samsung Galaxy S2. It is actually charging, which is great. And the iPod Touch has turned on. So we're gonna have a look at those again in a little minute, but let's have a look what else we've got in here. Let's put out a couple. We've got two Blackberries. One is missing the battery, the other one has the battery in it uh, and also has the back of the phone. No idea if these are gonna work, but we can uh, chuck these to the side and have a look in a little bit. But yeah, two Blackberries. I also had a Blackberry when I was younger as well, but one with the little ball thing in the middle of it. Okay, we've got two more iPhones. So this one has a very badly damaged screen and the home button doesn't work. This one here is, I'm not sure what iPhone model that is, but it's also got some horrible 
brown sticky stuff on the back. Looks kind of like food or hopefully food. Um, yeah, not sure which one this is. And then we've got the S here. So different antennas on them. I imagine this one's probably gonna be like a, a seven or something. And then this one's just an, a six S if that's potentially what that means. But we'll have to see if either of these work. Let's try and turn it on. Let's try and turn both of them on. Okay, this one says to plug it into power. The phone screen is actually coming off, which is not good, but potentially we could fix that. Um, yeah, this one doesn't seem to be doing anything. So we're gonna plug that one into charge and see if we can get that to show some signs of life. And this one we know does have something in it, but it's just not quite happy right now. So we've got a load of Nokias in here. Boom, look at this one right here, a little flip one. That one looks to be in really good condition. Let's see if that turns on. We've got another Nokia there. That one is actually turning on. Another Nokia. Uh, we've got another Nokia here and another one there. What, there's so many different Nokias in here. That could be it. No, there's another Nokia. Look at that one. That is beautiful. Look, it's like an original Nokia, except it has a camera on it. Wow, okay, that could be it for all of the Nokias. So this one works perfectly. Uh, start up without a SIM card, yup, there we go, look at that. This is looking great, let's see what else we have in here. So let's pull out a few now, we've got another Samsung here, and we've got another Samsung here. So, let's take a look, this one is a Samsung Galaxy, I think, 4. Is this a 3? Is this a Samsung Galaxy S3? Right, so a little bit of time has passed. My microphone ran out of battery, sorry about that. I have charged quite a few of these devices. Before we go through and I update you on what's working and what's not, let's quickly finish off what we have in the bag. So there's a couple of things I've taken out of the bag just to put them on charge so that we can have a look at them. Um, let me quickly go through those. So there's one iPhone here. I think this is an iPhone 5 or something like that. The screen's kind of popping out of the phone. And also it's just stuck in this boot cycle. I'm gonna see if I can just show you it here because the cable is not long enough, but essentially it goes to turn on, it shows the Apple logo that you can see there, and it just continuously sort of boots. Not sure what the issue is with that. Could be a case of just plugging it into iTunes and resetting it. We've also got another iPhone here. I'm not sure, there we go, it's the iPhone SE in pink. Now this one, just has a broken screen. You can see there the screen is uh, is doing some crazy sort of pink thing there, but it's actually got a fairly good condition screen on it and the body is in fairly good condition as well. So I'm thinking this could be a good repair. Um, all it needs is a new um, screen and those are sort of about 15 pounds on eBay. So I think this one could be a good candidate to fix. Um, let me see what else I took out. I think I took out a couple of Nokias that I didn't show you, um, but these all actually work. You can see this one here works fine. That one there works. Obviously we've got the folding one as well, that works perfectly. We've got these Nokias here as well. Both of these work, so all of the Nokias work. So I'm gonna reset all of those and pop them up on eBay. I'm sure there's someone out there interested in buying those. This Nokia here I don't have a charger for, um, but I actually really like this one, so I'm probably gonna keep that. But yeah, I need to get a charger for it. We don't know if it works or not. Now the Blackberry, one of the Blackberries is actually charging away happily. So this one does work. I doubt there's gonna be anybody out there who's gonna wanna buy this, but it's a Blackberry Curve. Um, I've not tested this one, but let's quickly, I suppose, we can pop the battery over and see if it works. However we go about doing that. There we go, slide the battery off. Is that the same size battery? No, it's not. So we have got one working BlackBerry. No idea if the other one works, but it hasn't got a back on it. Um, but yeah, one of them works at least, so that's kind of cool. All right, so we can chuck them up to the side. Now, the Motorola Razr, this is showing some signs of life. When you go to turn it on, uh, the keypad does light up. And when you put it on charge, the screen actually lights up as well and says, um, hello Moto or something. But I think the battery's dead because it's just, it's swelling up and, uh, and it gets really hot. So I think the battery's dead because it doesn't ever get past that stage. So this was the reason I bought this job lot, to be honest with you, because these phones are just so sick. And I reckon they're gonna be worth quite a lot of money at some point. So. There we go, the Motorola Razr. Um, let me show you these, quick update on these. So this one right here does absolutely nothing. I can't get it to do anything at all. Um, I'm not sure why, maybe it's really badly damaged in some, in some degree inside. 
Um, all the batteries just dead, not a clue. But anyway, it's not showing any signs of life at all. And it's got a smashed screen. So I'm probably gonna be putting this one in the recycling. Uh, and then we've got two other Samsungs here. Um, we've got the S2, works perfectly. And then we've also got this one, which I think is just a cheapo one. And this one works as well, which is really nice. I'm gonna have to try and reset them though, because they have got um, data on them. So out of the Samsungs, Two of them work and one of them doesn't. Uh, what else have we got? Um, there's obviously the iPods, I'll show you which ones of those works. We've got this one right here, this one works. This one gets stuck in a boot cycle, so I'm gonna need to reset this one. But it does actually look like it works. You can see there it's showing the charging screen. So that one works. Uh, this iPod comes up with an error message on the screen, which is unfortunate. Not sure if that's gonna be fixable. I'm sure there's plenty of videos out there on how to fix this um, 20 gigabyte iPod iPod, but I really like the look of it. And again, I think that could possibly be worth something um, someday. Whilst that one's turning on, there you go, there's the error message you can see there. We've also got another iPhone here with someone on the screen. Um, this one works perfectly well. I'm gonna have to try and reset that one because that's gonna be good. That's the iPhone 4. Um, as I said, we've got that iPhone 5 here which gets stuck in the boot cycle. Um, it is in fairly good condition other than the fact that the screen is coming away from the body. But maybe it just needs a new battery or just a reset, not sure. Um, we've got those iPods that I spoke about. Both of these work perfectly well, need to be reset. Um, we've got these iPhones here. So this one works, um, you can see here, which is really, really nice. Not sure if we can unlock it. Um, no, disabled, we'll have to try and reset that. And then we've got this one. Now this one does work, it's just got a smashed screen. I can see that there's some lights coming through the screen up there and in the center. So hopefully we can get that one repaired as well. All of these repairs I'm gonna be doing on this channel over the next couple of months, which is awesome. Right, finally, I mean, we can quickly go through these, but I did mention that all of these worked at the start. So we've got that Blackberry, that one works perfectly fine. It probably uh, needs to be reset, but it does work. We've got this Samsung, you can see there, it's turning on. This Samsung works perfectly. I'm really, really pleased with that one. We've got the Microsoft phone. This one works absolutely fine as well. And we've got the Xperia, both work perfectly fine. Just need to be charged and um, erased of all of their data. So yeah, I think that brings us up to speed with where we're at. Let's finish off the bag and see what's inside. So we've got this tiny, tiny, tiny little Sony Ericsson Xperia here. This is absolutely minuscule. Right, so I'll leave this little guy on charge and we can see if it works, comes with a little case. Uh, now, we've got another Nokia here. So this Nokia here works perfectly well. That one was in the bag, it was charged already. Um, I'm not sure it's gonna be worth any money. It's got a little screen protector on it, um, so it's in good condition, but I doubt it's gonna be worth anything. Now, we've got a few Doro phones, and that kind of gets me a little bit creeped out because these are for old people to have mobile phones. And they've got really big buttons, really big screens. I'm sure all of these are gonna work perfectly, but the reason it creeps me out is because I've probably got them because those old people passed away, which is kind of sad and scary. I mean, I do buy a lot of old stuff, so that is the way it works, but yeah, it's kind of a little bit scary. You can see there's one different model here. I'm sure there's still a demand for these Doro phones. I'll need to charge them all and see if they work, but I'm sure they will. But yeah, these things are still sold in phone shops now, so I reckon uh, I, reckon I could probably sell those locally. Right, we've got a few other things in here. We've got this one, uh, we've got this one, and then we've got this little thing, and that is actually our bag. So this is a Huawei um, t Telcom, which is just, you put a SIM card in it and it emits a Wi-Fi signal, like a hotspot. Uh, we've got this thing here, which the screen is completely coming away on it, and it's completely unbranded. So I'm gonna go ahead and assume that this one is just a Chinese phone that's probably gonna go to the recycling. And then we've also got this one here, no branding on it at all. Let's see if it's got any battery. I've not got a clue what that is. It's got an elastic band around it. Um, update on the Xperia. This thing is actually working. Look at this. It's uh, charging away happily. I've never seen such a small phone before. I'd love to get this thing to work. Hey, look at that. Works. I mean, this has been a lot of fun. I've, I've really enjoyed this, um, very, very much so indeed. There we go, Sony Ericsson, works perfectly. No SIM card in phone, and it's probably gonna have to be reset, I imagine. Ooh, it's very slow. What have we got here? We've got 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 32 phones which or, or devices that I paid £50 for. So I don't know maths very well, but that's probably like £1.30 or something, I don't know, um, per phone. No, that's not right. Yeah, maybe it is right. So yeah, super happy with that. I mean, it's a bargain. It really, really is. I'm fairly certain that I can um, have a lot of fun with these, fix them, make some money back and, and stuff. So let me know what you want to look at um, in the comment section down below. I mean, I can't even fit all of these things on camera, but these are all of the Apple devices here that people are probably going to care about the most. Very, very happy with the ones that I got there. We've also got these sort of more modern smartphones here, um, all of which work perfectly well. Um, we've got the Samsung Galaxy S2 and this little Samsung, both of them work perfectly well. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm really, really pleased with how this has turned out, to be honest. Um, cool, well stay tuned, subscribe. I'm gonna do some repairs on my channel. Look out for those. Hope you've all enjoyed this video. I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye.